in our example, we're going to have the focal length of the object, or the focal length of the mirror is going to be 2.5 centimeters. We're going to have a concave mirror. So you're going to be in the cave. The object height is going to be 1.5 centimeters, and the object distance is going to be 6.5 centimeters. We're going to solve for the image distance, the three image characteristics, and we're going to solve for the image height. So we start out with the mirror. We take our non purloined protruder and we draw, we find a point 6.5 centimeters from the mirror. So six and a half centimeters from the mirror along the principal axis, we draw a point. On that particular point, we are then going to draw our object. Our object has a height of 1.5 centimeters, so we're going to draw our vertical object 1.5 centimeters above the principal axis. This is our object. Notice our object is a solid object, our object right there. Now, we are going to draw three different rays to, oh, actually we need to identify some points. This point right here is the focal point. <coughs> this point right here is twice the focal point, which makes it what? Square. The center of curvature or the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature would be the different distance. The center of curvature would be the location. So this is going to be the distance of the radius of curvature. Now, here we go. We're going to draw three rays. The first ray we're going to draw is the parallel ray. The parallel ray, every ray has an incident ray and a reflected ray. The parallel ray, the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis. And the reflected ray is uh, through the focal point. So that's the first ray we're going to draw. So the incident ray, the ray going toward the mirror, is parallel to the principal axis. So I bring it up here and I draw a line which is parallel to the principal axis until we get to the mirror. So this is the incident ray of our parallel ray. Then we draw our refre reflected ray through the focal point. So it goes through the focal point like this. So this right here is our parallel ray. Next, we're going to draw the focal ray. The focal ray is the reverse of the parallel ray. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the parallel to the principal axis and through the focal point. So the incident ray is through the focal point. And the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis. So I draw my focal ray. Goes through the focal point. So from the top of the object through the focal point. This is the incident ray of the focal ray. And it's going this way. Then we have the reflected ray of the focal ray. It's going to be parallel to the principal axis, which goes that way. So again, this is the focal ray. One more ray, the chief ray. And it's I before E, except after C when it makes the sound of bad. So it's I before E, chief. The chief ray is the only undeflected ray <coughs> 
meaning the direction is not really changed. And we'll go through what that means in just a minute. The incident and reflected ray both go through the center of curvature or the distance to the radius. So when I draw the chief ray, again, we start at the top of the object and we go through the radius of curvature or the center of curvature and we come down like this. Now, a couple things to notice about this. This being the chief ray. The chief ray actually never runs into the mirror. That's because this is just a visual representation of the mirror. The mirror can go up and down as far as we need it to go. It doesn't really matter. The incident ray goes through the radius of curvature, is reflected off the mirror, and then comes back. So that's what I mean by it's not deflected. It goes over the same point. It comes through the radius of curvature, and then is reflected back through the radius of curvature again, or the location of the center of curvature. Now, the image is where all of our reflected rays intersect, which is located right here. And it goes from the principal axis to the location where all three of them intersect. So we take our protruder and we draw our image. Now, our image is not going to be a solid line like our object because it is an image, not an object. So that is our image. Again, drawing always from the principal axis to wherever the three rays intersect. So now, we should be able to identify our three image characteristics. First off, Christine. Is this image real or virtual? She's not seeing it. Who can help her out? Is this image real or virtual? Kurt, it's real. How do you know it's real? It's in front of the mirror and? Wicked. All the rays intersect. They all intersect in front of the mirror. So we know this image is real. Second, is this image upright or inverted? Krauss. Inverted. inverted. You can see relative to the um, object, it's going to be inverted. And last one, is the image reduced the same size or enlarged? Simple. Reduced. So we can tell all that from drawing our ray diagram. 